if you yeah, ever get in the doghouse, let's say, do you give flowers or for Valentine's, or do you give food? Flowers, food, what would it be? Cupcakes, something sweet. Yeah, I'd say put those thoughts together right there. Yes, Jennifer Miron, owner of Blue and Cupcakes, is here to show us uh, how, how of course, how beautiful these cupcakes are, and um, we're gonna find out how if they taste as good as they look, which I think, I think they're gonna be amazing. Okay, and you're gonna show us how to do at, this? Wait. That close up we just had, those don't look real. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, those are Texas wildflower theme. And those are succulents and different flowers over there. Because I mean, look at these blue bonnets right here. I, uh, this, it, it's okay. incredible. Icing does uh -huh. not last forever. How do you do, I mean, look at how delicate mm -hmm. and how intricate all that is. What kind of icing do you use? So this is buttercream. It's a special recipe that I have developed um, I have two different kinds, and one is uh, sweet, the other one is slightly sweet, and it's great for everybody. And you kind of mm -hmm. kind of mess with the consistency, right? So it yes, will... one of them is made with uh, cold butter to make it last longer. And oh. yeah. okay. okay, the technique. Mm -hmm. How do we do this? Let's mm -hmm. get let's okay. get going here. What are we doing? So these are all different piping tips, which make different designs. For right. this one, if you want to start with the sunflower. Okay. So Fiona's going to try and replicate. I don't yes, know if you can one see of the right sunflowers. Yes. Try. Try is correct. Those trick. sunflowers okay. right there, that yellow one. Look at how gorgeous that is. Okay. Okay. So putting the piping tip very mm -hmm. close to it. Right here. And then just pipe out. You nervous? There yes, you go. stop. You're making me shake. <laughs> don't come to So a little bit faster out. Oh, a little bit faster. There you go. Like that? Yes, so oh. you want to put it a little bit like if it's going out. Uh, yes, like okay. if the petals growing okay. out of the flower. Now, okay. I'm going to do, while she finishes that, a succulent, yes. right? So for that one, we're going to start it with a little dabble of the buttercream. Okay, we, we, okay. so just so kind of a little... So that's the small base to start it. Kind of like that? Yes, like that. Okay. Uh -oh. I like that. And then she you're going to go circle around, like if you're making half circles all across it. Okay, I have to remember to breathe. Wait. Breathe. I know. That's <laughs> yeah. the okay. Okay. No. <laughs> I love how I got I started out with really small leaves and I got more confident and my leaves got bigger and bigger and bigger. So then I just layer it yes. again, So right? you want to do a second layer? A second layer right on top. Right of on top the of it. Okay. So it's like if you're doing like a second floor. Second floor. Okay. So, how, how did you get it? started? Oh, you're doing so like that. Okay. it started as a hobby, kind of something relaxing for me to do, mm -hmm. to distress. And then I posted it on my social media and like it got a lot of traction. People liked it. One thing led to, an, to another. And, and you here. said you saw this somewhere and goes, oh, I, I can do that. And yes. that's how you guys, just by looking at a picture when I think I can do that. Yes, and I mean, uh, once you get more practice and everything, just by looking at pictures of what other people have done before, Wow. You're able to recreate them. What is the most difficult one to make? Uh, the most difficult one would be probably a very, very realistic rose, which would have like lots and lots of petals. Okay. And you do these, speaking of roses, do for um, like weddings and everything too, right? Centerpieces and... Yes, I have done weddings, baby showers. Um, very popular for um, anniversary gifts. For okay. wives, yes. Because I mean, look at this. You want a dozen roses for your, your sweets for the sweet, if you will. These are absolute. The delicacy on there, I mean, is, is simply amazing. So how did I do on my uh, my succulent? Wow. That's really good, yeah. He, he always does really well <laughs> with this. Um, it looks amazing. Mine's Thank you. okay. <laughs> oh, it looks good. And, and, and now I have to do the, uh, the little cactus thing too, right? Yes. So I just that go. That one you have it, yes. Oh, he gets to move on to the next level. <laughs> okay. Yes. Is he, I, he's, he, you're going to do a garden gnome next, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I just got through my sunflower. Okay. If, some, if, some, <laughs> if somebody wants to order these, how far in advance do they need to uh, get a hold of you? About two weeks, but um, because that's how fast I booked up. Mm -hmm. But if the day is available, I can always take the order. 
And folks can order in, I mean, they come in boxes, you can spell, you know, yes. words or initials, Numbers right? as well, mm -hmm. I'm able to do numbers and uh, different sizes for um, bouquets. The bouquets, and yes. you said as big as what, even 30, 30 cupcakes? 30, yes, 30, okay. that's the biggest. Oh, that looks so good. Of course. <laughs> your, garden, your garden gnome is next. You're going to level three. Yeah. I'm still See? level one. <laughs> That's did, did very I, nice. Did I pass? Yes. That looks amazing. Congratulations, yes. you graduated. Do you want to try doing this one? <laughs> oh, uh, I, I may quit while I'm ahead. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, tell folks how to find you. Uh, on Instagram, Blooming Cupcakes. San Antonio, Texas. They are Blooming Cupcakes ASAT. Anybody is going to love these if you were to get them as a gift. And again, for more information on Blooming Cupcakes, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.